Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Sen, and I'm going to demonstrate a technique known as posterior axillary sling traction. This is a technique used for shoulder dissocia that was described by Drs. Hofmeyer and Kluver and was taught to me by my colleague, Henry Murray. The beauty of this technique is that it allows the accoucheur to deliver the posterior shoulder by placing a loop of plastic tube un under the baby's posterior shoulder and that lifts the posterior shoulder and disengages it from the pelvis. This is a technique uh, that could be considered after the initial manoeuvres, especially McRoberts and suprapubic pressure, have not been successful. I'm going to demonstrate on this model, without using a pelvis, how we apply the sling. So forming a, a loop with a plastic feeding or nasogastric tube, we push the loop into the axilla posterior anteriorly, and then with the finger of the left hand, we hook around the tube and that gives us a loop of tube that we can apply traction to, to deliver the posterior shoulder. One thing that can be used to help with traction is to apply uh, a clamp, such as a Harrison Cripps, to take hold of the tubes to pull the posterior shoulder. What I'll do now using the four stage technique is to demonstrate this technique. I will do a silent run through then a run through with commentary, then my colleague Dr. Lee will provide commentary while I do the technique, then Dr. Lee will demonstrate with her own commentary. I'll now demonstrate the technique with my own commentary. So the baby's shoulders are stuck. We've tried the abdominal maneuvers. We're now going to apply the, the posterior sling. So looping a piece of infant feeding tube or nasogastric tube, we push the loop posteriorly to anterior in the baby's axilla and then using the left hand, pick up that loop and pull it through. So we now have a double loop that we can apply traction on and using either our fingers or by applying a clamp, we can then disengage the posterior shoulder and once that's been disengaged the anterior shoulder will follow. Posterior axillary sling traction is a technique used in the management of shoulder dystocia where standard manoeuvres have not succeeded in delivering the posterior shoulder. You take a fine piece of plastic tubing such as an infant feeding tube or a nasogastric suction tube, and you fold it in half, keeping a loop of about two centimetres at the end. You feed that through the baby's axilla, the posterior axilla, from back to front, and you catch the loop with your other hand, your left hand, and pull it through. This creates a double loop of plastic that you then have underneath the baby's posterior shoulder and you use that with traction either using your hands or using a clamp. To draw the baby's posterior shoulder down through the pelvis and out, the anterior shoulder should follow through. This technique is called posterior axillary sling traction and it is used in the management of shoulder dystocia when standard manoeuvres have not succeeded. You take a piece of plastic tubing such as an infant feeding tube or a nasogastric tube and fold it in half. Take the loop with your right hand about two centimetres from the end and feed that loop through the baby's axilla, the posterior axilla, from posterior to anterior. With your left hand, pick up the loop once the loop has gone underneath the baby's shoulder.
and pull it through. You now have a double loop, which you use to draw the baby's posterior shoulder down into the pelvis. This can be done either with your hands or by clamping the plastic tubing with a forcep and using that for traction. The anterior shoulder should follow through.